Alrighty guys, hey, this is Wayne here, and um, just going over some stuff that just recently happened to me, so uh, hopefully I can share some information and uh, it won't happen to somebody else. Uh, this right here, you're inside my freezer, and normally we buy a beef or half a beef uh, every year, and then this freezer is completely full of meat, and this is our meat for the year. However, uh, recently we had a problem where the fridge quit working, so uh, just have to, I'll try and answer some of the questions that I instantly had. One is, how long will your freezer hold your meat? A full freezer, a full standing upright freezer like this, uh, should be able to hold the temperature and hold the cold uh, for about 48 hours. We were right on the tipping point of that before we realized what happened here. And uh, so this is what I did to find out which meat is good and which meat is not good. Uh, first of all, all the research that I did do your own research, don't trust exactly what I say, but I'm just telling you what I found. But do your own research and make your own judgment. Your judgment's gonna be your call. <coughs> um, 40 degrees, if meat is exposed to temperatures at 40 degrees or above for more than two hours, throw it away. So that's pretty much what I went off of. Now, some of the meat did go bad. Some of it in the top, some of the meat in the top shelf uh, it, it didn't make it and the way that I made that decision is I actually used a temperature gun right here You can see and I'll just shoot that so I would actually take the meat and actually run the laser on it here And that's four four degrees, okay, obviously things are cold and running again uh, but some of them measured up uh, to 45 degrees. If it measured at 45 degrees on this, I actually went one step further and got a meat thermometer, okay? Digital meat thermometer. <clears throat> I would insert this into the meat. If it was 40 degrees or above inside temperature, it got tossed. I'm not chancing getting sick. Things like E. coli and all these other things uh, start to breed at that temperature. At least that's what my research showed. So I did not do any of that. I, I, if it registered above 40 degrees, it went out with this in the center. Um, and then the rest of it was saved. So instead of having to throw away thousands of dollars worth of food, uh, we were able to save most of it and you know maybe we lost 50 bucks worth of stuff. Um, one of the other really cool things, so that's the first thing, determine what meat is good, what meat is bad. You've got roughly a 48 hour window if your freezer is full. If it's empty, or half empty, you're probably cutting that in. It, however full it is, you, you would go off of that. So if it's half full, you probably got 24 hours. If it's quarter full, you probably only have 12 hours because the meat is actually gonna keep everything cold, okay? Um, <clears throat> so, that inspired me, because anything can happen. A breaker can trip, uh, cord can go bad, um, you know, any, any kind of stuff can happen. Power outage, whatever it is. Um, and you don't know until it's too late. Uh, we don't get in here every single day. So I found this really cool product right here. This is called Temp Stick. Okay, this registers the temperature and it sends an alert to my phone if we have a problem. So I've got the Temp Stick app somewhere in here, Temp Stick, and if the if I can set the temperature, if it goes above 32 degrees. It sends a image to, or it sends a message to my phone and alerts me, and I can get out here and get this taken care of before it ever even thaws out at all. I can set it to any temperature. You could use this for a million different applications. This is what I chose to use it for. So uh, it checks in every couple hours, a couple times a day, and you can see this is my report here. This is my little graph. I don't know if it will show that or not, but. Uh, yeah, and it'll tell you the humidity, it'll tell you the temperature, uh, the ranges, and I can just randomly go to this and actually take a look and say, uh, look and see what it is right now, and it'll tell me what it is. So it checks every hour, okay? This has its own little battery. Uh, I don't know exactly how long that's gonna last, but we'll find out. So this is a great investment. It's gonna save you money. A hundred bucks or so, I think it's between 69 and 100 bucks. I don't remember exactly how much it is. Just look up TempStick online. Um, <clears throat> TempStick powered by idealsciences.com. It's gonna save you thousands of dollars 
if you store meat like this, if you buy and store meat like this, it's pretty much the best thing that I've found uh, that's going to be available. So you could put these in multiple freezers. Um, you could also put them in your house, and then if you're on vacation and the temperature drops below freezing in your house, you can get an alert, get somebody there before the pipes freeze. So for more information, check out uh, the website below, check out Tempstick, and that is what I found, and that's how we saved the rest of our meat. So for more information, check out the website below. Thanks for watching.